Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. Today I am here to share with you some items, makeup items specifically, that I want to either work on or finish up in 2023. I'm not setting like a I have to finish all of these items goal or I want to use up 100 makeup items because I know myself and if I set that goal, I will fail. And I've seen this video float around in my YouTube feed and I was really intrigued by the idea of kind of going through my collection and seeing the things that I want to work on so that I can kind of have them set aside for whenever it's time to, you know, pull a, pro a product into a project. I have, you know, a handful of items to choose from. Well, more than a handful, you know. Oh, I was like, where did Zicky go? There he is. He's, he just moved but I'm covering him up. I'm sorry. So I think the person that I watched, the first video that I watched of this this year, like the style plan to pan, by the way, this is my plan to pan for 2023. <laughs> the first video I watched, I think was Sarah Rose or it was a Christina Chang. I can't remember one of the two. And I was like, I really want to do that. So I decided to pull some things out that I want to focus on for next year. I, I will say a lot of these are with a goal to finish and I think they are realistic. There are some things I just want to work on. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to start with kind of how I apply things on my face. And there are things that are currently in projects to finish that I'll probably talk about like this one. <laughs> this is, so I have two products in here, which is like primers. Did I mention these are primers? <sighs> the first category I'm going to start with are primers. And I have two items from Becca. The first one is my first light priming filter. And this is in, currently in a project now. So I do want to finish this. I, spoiler, I'm like down to here. I'm like halfway done with this. So this will get done in 2023. The other item I want to finish, and this is just because I've, it's been here a long time, the Backlight Priming Filter by Becca. So this has a pretty decent amount of use. You can see my last progress line there. So it's over halfway done. So, so Marley's talking to me. So I want to finish this one as well. So we'll get those two out for sure. Then I'm going to go to, I'm not really concerned with setting sprays because I use a pretty decent amount. So I'm not going to talk about setting sprays. The next category is foundations. And I actually have three here. There's one that I'm working on, which I'm not including in this list, which I might be able to finish before the end of the year. Otherwise it'll be like right at the beginning of next year. It's my Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. And now that I think about it, I'm actually gonna have four because I have one other foundation that's in another project that I definitely wanna finish. Okay, so let me talk about this one first because you've seen this one on my channel in, in a video for a project. This is the La Mer, the Soft, the Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. So I definitely wanna finish this. It's very close. I think this is in my Throwback 30. So for that's for the prompt, that's expensive. So yeah, I definitely want to finish that. The next one I want to finish is by Maybelline. This is the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation. And this is in the shade 125 Nude Beige. So this is going to be a summer foundation for me. Last time, this has been in a project, and the last time I measured it, I was right there. So quite a bit to go. I mean, it's halfway, over halfway done. So would like to roll that one out. That's an older foundation. Same with this one. This is by L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Pro Glow in the shade number 202. I really do love this foundation, but I've had this one a long time. So I definitely want to finish it up. I mean, the sunscreen in here is probably long expired. Yeah, it's long expired. <laughs> but I do want to finish that one up. And the last foundation I want to finish is by Dior. It's their Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is in the shade 15N. I, I've been, I've had this in so many projects and it needs to get done. So next year is the year. Then in terms of concealers, I have two I'm working on now, both of which I don't think are going to be finished before. Well, I know one for sure won't be finished by the end of the year. The one that's close is my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light. This one might get done before the end of the year, but I just went digging with the 
yeah, there's still a ton of product in there. I don't think it's going to get finished. I only use this just to lighten the inner portion before I use this next foundation. I don't think it's going to get done. It's close, but it's not that close. Next, I have my Lancome Tint Eye Dull Ultra Wear All Over Concealer, and this is in the shade Ivory. So yeah, I want to get this one done. I think, I don't know how far I am into this. It's, you can't really like, you know, get the sides clear of concealer to really see where you are. Okay. So there's barely some windowing there. So I am over halfway done with this. But, you know, honestly, I feel like I'm further down than that. It's just so hard to tell in this bottle. I am nowhere close to being able to take out the stopper. So anyway, want to finish that. And then I have two more. I think once I finish the Tarte one, I'll focus on this one to brighten the inner corner. This is by Ulta. It's the Full Coverage Liquid Concealer in Fair Neutral. And this is just a very, very light, light concealer. You can see there. And so, yeah, and this does not have a lot of product in it. This has 2.4 mils, whereas this has 13. I mean, like, night and day. This takes no time to finish, whereas this takes forever. Same with Tarte Shape Tape. I mean, this one, I think, has 12 mils. It's either 10 or 12. I can't. My eyes. <laughs> I stink. The last concealer that I have in here, I rolled in because I hear this goes bad very quickly. This is by Kosas. It's the Revealer Skin Improving. Oh, this is a foundation. Never mind. It was in my concealer drawer. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the foundation category, though, because like I said, I heard these go bad. This is the Kosas Re Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. So it's this little, little mini I have. It expires on 724, but like I said, I heard these go bad. What shade is this? Number 180 Light Cool. So yeah, that is going to get rolled into the foundation category. I have a couple of powders. I have one loose, no, two loose, one pressed. The first one I have that's the loose powder, it's by One Size, the Ultimate Setting Powder, and it's a translucent shade. This is a deluxe size sample. I think I can definitely finish this one. And the second one is my buffing powder. This is by Sicily. It's the Fito Pudre Libre powder in Iris A. Let me fold this around. And I don't have very much left in here, but as a finishing powder, it still takes me a while to get through because I don't need very much. And I also have some of this in a little travel container in my travel bag. So there's still more of this than what's in this container. The next product for, it's a pressed powder. There's one I'm working on another project, which will definitely get done next year as well. It's a Maybelline Fit Me powder. But I also want to finish this. This is by Essence. It's the Mattifying Compact Powder in Light Beige. So I have pan in this one. And I like to use these powders just to set my primer, eye primer. So that's what I'll probably use this for as well. Talking more about powders, I have three bronzers I want to finish. The first one is this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It's a little deluxe eye sample. I have repressed this, and this is how much is left in here. So I want to roll this out of my collection. I also have my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is just bronzer. And I'm working on this for my Throwback 30, I think. Is that right? So that's how much is left. Again, I have repressed this. I'm working on this now pretty much exclusively, but I don't think I'll have this finished before the end of the year. There's still plenty of powder in here. So it's going to get rolled over into next year. And the third powder I want to finish, bronzer that I want to finish, is by Benefit. And this was part of the Cheekathon palette. I depotted it. It's my Benefit Hula. So I do have Pan, and I just I want to get this finished because I have a couple of Hulas. So this is a product I want to focus on finishing. So those are the three bronzers I want to get done, which is awesome because I never finish bronzers. So if I can get three done in one year, it'll be a miracle. So there are two blushes that I want to work on finishing. The first one is in a project right now. It's by Benefit. It's the Dandelion Blush. And this is in my 50 Shades of Green. 
I had to repress this because it was like no powder was coming up on my brush. And now there's a good amount of pigment that comes up and I actually get color on my face. So I definitely want to finish this. It needs to be done before I get a tan, which actually will happen because this project ends in April and that'll be way before I go get a tan. But yeah, I do. I do want to finish this. It barely show, it doesn't show up too much on my hand, but on my cheeks, I can get a really nice glow or flush. So I want to finish this and then I'm going to pull this in to finish as well. This is by Too Faced. It's the Long La Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush in Baby Love. So I have this little deluxe size sample and I have hit pan on this. It took forever. So I don't know if I can finish this and I may end up having to repress it because it's kind of an awkward pan, but I do have a pretty good amount of usage on this. So yeah, I want to try to get this one done as well. The other blush that I want to work on is actually any blush in this Tarte Amazonian Clay Color Wheel blush palette. I have some usage on some of these products, but nothing that's substantial. So I want to try to like hit pan on one of these or, you know, get, get like, I wanted to show some wear. I wanted to show some love. And so we'll do something. I haven't quite decided what yet because I have the, these two blushes I want to finish. So maybe I'll just set like 50 use goals on some of these to work on. But yeah, I, I, I want to get some use on these. Now I do have one cream cheek product. It's by Kosas. It's the Color and Light Creme uh, Palette in Eighth Muse. I just have, I've used this a couple of times. That's it. I, okay, my Eighth Muse High Intensity has, I, I checked it today, it's gone off. It smells like crayons. So this I'm rolling in because I know this goes bad quickly and in, in like, compared to other like cream cheek products. So I want to hit pan in both of these during the year, next year. So we'll see how that goes. Now in terms of highlighter, I really just have one highlighter that I want to finish. I have one that I want to hit pan on and it's in a project. It's this Mac Nutcracker palette. And I'm going to, I don't think I'll be able to hit pan in the blush, but I'm working on hitting pan in the highlighter. My goal is to hit pan in one of these two. So I'm working on the highlighter. I feel like I'll have better luck with the highlighter than the blush. But the other highlighter I want to finish is in my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. I haven't been swatching any of these. I'm so sorry. And this is a really nice highlighter. It doesn't, I don't find that it's like it, it stays blingy for a long period of time. Did I show it to you? <laughs> Did I show you the highlighter? There's the highlighter. I don't feel like it stays like super bright, intense for a long period of time, but it looks nice over a cream blush. I think you can also use these as like a finishing powder. I've never tried that, but if you have, let me know your experience because this is a strobe powder. And I typically will you know, use a buffing powder, but let me know if you use your strobe powder in a different way. Okay. I think those are all of the like complexion face products that I want to work on. Moving on to the eyes. I have two brow products that I want to finish. The first one is just an older pencil by Ulta. And I'm not sure if this is going to be the best shade match for me. So I need to work on it, get it out. It's the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. So I want to get that one done. And then I really want to finish another one of these Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencils. These take me forever to finish. This is in the shade Dark Brown. I have this one and then I have two from Benefit that are like that hourglass triangle shape. I want these out of my collection. So I want to, this is a focus part. I want to get this done. And I don't need a lot of brow products. So these take me a little bit longer to get through. I don't need a lot of brow product to my brows. <laughs> I do have several eyeliners. 
So I'm, I really want to focus next year on finishing a couple of colored pencils. For me, a colored pencil also includes brown because I'm mostly like a black eyeliner girl. So I'm rolling in an eye pencil by Be uh, Urban Decay, not Benefit, Urban Decay. And it's their 24 seven glider and eye pencil in Corrupt. This is a deluxe eye sample. And I kind of have this sitting in my top drawer to use and see it's kind of, it's a very dark, nice dark brown uh, to use whenever I have like warmer looks where I can wear a pencil like this, but I don't use it very often. So this is going to be, I'm, I'm, well, I'm gonna put it in project to try to finish because otherwise it's not gonna get done. The next one I have is by Sephora. This is their colorful contour pencil in the shade Diving in Malaysia. I had this in a project for like, I think 10 or 20 uses. This is a nice like olive, blackened olive shade. So I'm, I'm rolling this in to finish. I mean, it's, it's tiny, it's teeny tiny. I can finish that in a year. And then I have two black eye pencils. Now, or eyeliners. Now these, I like pass over to use other pencils like Urban Decay or whatever. So I'm put, I wanna, I'm putting these up, it's like, you know, hey, I'm here so I can finish them. The first one is by Rodeal, it's the Smoky Eye Pen. And I'm pretty sure this, this is a pencil. I don't know if this is going to be like a coal or if it will stay put where I need it to, but we're gonna we're gonna try to finish that. And then I have this Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner. This is just the black version. This these don't take that long to finish, and I've actually used it a little bit here and there. They don't take that long to finish because when you twist, they sharpen, and so you don't. There's not a ton of product. And then I have two liquid liners. Now my favorite is by Kat Von D. This is the tattoo liner. I also love the one from Stila. Actually, I like them both equally. They're really nice. But these, I like a, like those black pencil, I black eyeliners, I don't reach for these. So I'm putting these in to finish. By Hikari, I have the Iris liquid eyeliner. Is this a different color? Oh, this is, um dried out Let's forget about that one yeah okay that one was dried out so what I'm gonna do instead of let's see if this one's dried out hold on Ooh, we'll see about that what I'm going to do instead is roll in this one by makeup revolution it's this I don't remember what they called this but this it's like liquid liner and there's the line there it kind of looks like it may bleed a little bit it's very very wet <laughs> So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. The next one is by Physicians Formula. This is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum in the shade Ultra Black. So yeah, these two. I also have one from ColourPop, so I'll go ahead and mention it because if I finish those two, then I may roll this one in. This is just their liquid liner in black. Just making sure, yep, these are, all three are fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll all three of these in to finish, cause then I'll have basically just the Kat Von D and the Stila liquid liners left in my collection. So that would be really nice. I have several mascaras. Now these are all minis that I want to get finished. They're my oldest minis in my collection. And let me just show you what they are. They're the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect mascara I have and I go through mascaras fairly quickly especially these older ones they are, they are they're a little bit dried out from Smashbox I have the full exposure mascara from model co I have the power lash black mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills I don't know what this is it's whatever mascara it is from benefit I have the bad gal bang mascara the Clarins Wonder Perfect Mascara 4D. I think I got this at the end of 2021, end of last year. Same with this one. I think this was summer of last year. Tom Ford's Badass Mascara. And the other mascaras that I want to finish and use just so I can see which one I want. 
These came as part of a like Sephora lash kit where you try five samples and then you get one free. So I want to try these to see which one I want. First I have the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. The Say Mascara. <laughs> it's, that's all, just a Say on there. Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. The Kelly Ray Come Hell or High Water Mascara. And lastly, I have the Item Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. So I want to use those as well and roll them out of my stash and then decide which one I want to purchase with that certificate. I have one eye base. I have had this MAC paint pot in, for so long. This is in Painterly. And I, I want to hit pan in this. I keep being like, oh, I need to pull that out. I need to pull that out to like work on. And I never do. So I am talking about it today so I can remind myself to work on it. I mean, it's still super creamy, even though it's pulling from the sides. I mean, it performs beautifully. So yeah, I want to, my goal really is to hit pan in this. That would be amazing. And I think it can take a while to hit pan in. And let's see, I have a, I have some eyeshadows. Now I'm not going to talk about what I'm doing for my pan that palette because that will be a surprise until the first of the year. But I do have a couple of other things I want to work on. So I always kind of forget about my ColourPop eyeshadows. So I just pulled two to hit pan in. The first one is the, they're both Super Shock Shadows and Birthday, Birthday Girl. And here's the shade. There we go. And the second one I pulled, I honestly just grabbed like the first two, is the shade UN. UN. And here's what this one looks like. They look very similar. But I think like all the ones I have left kind of look like this, you know? Yeah, they look very similar. So I want to hit pan in these. Needs to happen. All right, now the, the last like eyeshadow product that I want to talk about is actually a palette. The palette that, I'm, that I wanna work on was actually part of my Doogee Pan, my Battleship project that I did with Verity, who is Red Dirt and Stardust here on YouTube. I think she took a bit of a hiatus this year from YouTube, but I think she's coming back the beginning of the year. Anyway, the palette that I'm talking about is the Lorac Shine Bright palette. I have pan on all but two shades so well I should say like in the project I hit pan in all but two shades but this one I have since used in to mix with my pan that pal this year and then this one I don't plan on using at all so this palette is very well loved I would love to continue to work on this to finish some of these eyeshadow shades so like right now I have this cream shade in my Nightmare on Panning Street project. I'm working on this one here and there to brighten my inner corner. It's not what I use today, but I, I have used it a couple of times. I actually finished this shade in, in from, uh, I put it in Nightmare on Panning Street as well. But like some of these mattes, I think I can definitely work on finishing over the year. So that's going to be a goal of mine. I kind of want to keep this front of mind for whenever I need to roll in a product into like a prompt based project. I have something like I can pull shadows from here to work on to finish. All right. So those are the eyeshadows. So not a ton of eyeshadows, but you know, the goal really is to use up some of the shades in my Lorac, uh, Lorac Shine Bright palette and then hit pan on these two plus my pan that palette, which is coming soon. Now on to lip products and there's a lot. Actually, before I get to lip products, I need I have one fragrance that I want to share. I'm hopeful I can finish this, but if anything, I just want to get a really decent amount of use on it. This is an old perfume by Calvin Klein. It is Escape. And, you know, they don't make this anymore. It's made by Cody now, so I'm down to here. I would love to at least finish half of this. Every time I wear this, people are like, what are you wearing? So I know that my sister loves this perfume as well. So I know that it smells nice on me, but I've kind of moved on from it, but I still don't want to like 
waste it or throw it away. So I'm going to wear, I'm going to, I'm trying to finish half. If by the time I finish half, I'm like, I may just give the rest of it to my sister, but I do want to at least use half. All right. Now moving on to lip products. I actually have four lip liners I want to finish. All of these either are or have been in projects this year. The first one I have is by Jordana. It's the Easy Liner for Lips and Rock and Rose. This one is really close. That's all that's left in here. I don't think I'll finish any of these before the end of the year. Next from ColourPop, I have the shade Dopey. So it's a teeny tiny little liner. And that's, I think really what I have is like this much left in here. That's it. From Pat McGrath, I have the Permagel Ultim Ultra Lip Pencil in Suburbia. So here's this little mini. And there's the shade. I'm not swatching these, but do you need me to swatch them? Here, we'll do this. And the last one I have is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. And like, I mean, there's just not very much left of these. Those are the four. That's Rock and Rose. First one is Rock and Rose. Then we have Dopey, Suburbia, and Pillow Talk. So I want to finish those. I do have several lip glosses. Now this first one is by Butter London. It's a plush rush lip gloss. It's really hard to read. And Fireworks, it's this little deluxe size sample. I had this in a project to use half. So I've used half of this and I want to finish it. It's a little bit challenging to use because it's so glittery. Make sure it smells okay. But, you know, it's an I it's easy. I can finish that. So, I want I want to finish this one. This is a gimme. Then from ColourPop, I'm rolling in another lip gloss to finish. I I'm working on one right now that's close. I think I'll have it done before the end of the year. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip in Finders Keepers. And I want to say I'm like here on this. So not as much progress as some of the other lip glosses that I've worked on to finish. But this is such a beautiful gloss. I think I can do it in a year. So there we go. And these are really old. I need to use these up. And I think the last one I have, yeah, the last gloss I have is actually part of this Clinique little duo. It had the lip scrub on one side and the lip gloss on the other. So here, I think this is in Pink Honey. Now, my, I had two of these. One of the other one was Black Honey, I think. And the scrub on that one started growing something funky. And so I just decluttered the whole thing. I was like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to trust myself with, I'm not going to trust the other side. It could have migrated. So anyway, a very, very light gloss. So I want to finish that. Those are the three glosses that I have. Now I have a lip gloss stick. That's kind of how I think of this product. Product. This is by Marc Jacobs. It's the hy hydrating, no enamored, hydrating lip gloss stick. In the shade One Mauve Time, I have two of these, and this is the one that I currently have open. I freaking love this product so much. I love the color. I love the product. So I want to make sure I use these because I love them. So I want to finish this one. I have one liquid lipstick that I want to finish. This is by Huda Beauty. It's the Liquid Matte Lipstick in Muse. I've already used this. It's the stopper's out, I think. No, the stopper's not out yet, but I can see the to the bottom of this, which you probably won't be able to. Well, maybe some little windowing right there. Anyway, I want to finish this. This is close, so I want to get this done. And I have one, like, crayon. This is by ColourPop. It's the Creme... Lippy stick in Last Call, and there's not much left in here. So here's the shade, and that's how much is left. Oh, I didn't swatch um, the Huda, so there's that one. I'll swatch the Huda. So you can see the all very similar colors. <laughs> 
And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bullet lipsticks. So let me go with the minis first. I have one by MAC. This is the satin lipstick and twig. So I think I have a full size of this one as well. And this one already has some decent use on it. So I want to finish this one. It's gorgeous. Then from Marc Jacobs, I have the Lamarck. La Creme, wait, Lamarck Creme Lipstick <laughs> in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So it's this adorable little mini. And there's the shade. I love this color and I love this formula. So want to finish that. Actually, I didn't show you the right side. Cute. And let's see, from Pat McGrath, I have a mini. I'm rolling in a red lipstick, guys. This is the shade Elson. I have two of these cute little minis. They were like part of a Sephora freebie during one like Black Friday or something. And I do have some use on this. <laughs> Very little. It was either going to be this or Gaspacho by, by Beauty. And I went with this one. I feel like there's less in here. <laughs> So there's that. And then one more. I have one from Bite Beauty. This is the shade Date. It's the Amuse Bouche Lipstick. This was a limited edition shade that I fell in love with. Like this shade was almost the reason why I bought the set. And I want to use it. So it's happening. I'm going to use it this coming year. Here we go. Love. So those are the minis. And then I have five full sizes. The first one is by uh, Urban Decay. This is the revolution sheer lipstick in the shade lady flower so here we go there's the shade it's beautiful and there's not a t i mean there's a decent amount but not a ton left in here i mean i've used a bunch of this yeah you can see i used a bunch so that's one number two is by pat mcgrath now if you've been watching me you know which one i'm talking about this is the matte trans lipstick in venus and furs this is so close Anyway, before I forget, there's the packaging and here's the, that's how much I have left. I can totally finish this. It's going to be so easy. I mean, not easy. It's probably going to take me another like 15 to 20 uses, but I can do it. So I want to finish this one. And then I have three from Bite Beauty. Now Bite Beauty's been gone for a little while and these three, I'm fairly confident I can either finish it really close to finishing. I want to get really close on these. This is the shade Taurus. These are all the Amuse Bouche lipsticks. I have one more of these, so I really want to get this one done. I freaking love this color. And this is a broken lip uh, bullet pen, bullet lipstick. Wow. There we go. I love this color so much. This was a limited edition shade. Then I have the shade Sake. And I didn't show you. This is how much I have left in here. A little more purple than the one before and here this is how much is left in Taurus this one may be the one that I have the most difficulty finishing just because it's there's the most in here and it's also broken so it makes it a little more difficult to use this one's also gonna be really hard but I think if I focus on it during the summer and use it every single day it'll be done this is the shade dragon fruit this is a bright bright pink but I do not have very much left in here. I can finish this. I know I can. I know I can. These are super creamy. You know, you do one swipe and you get a lot used up. So, yeah. So, I'm, I really want to work on getting three, a lot of these Bite Beauties out. So, we'll see how it goes. Now, I know I'll finish a lot more than this. Like, I didn't pull out any full-size mascaras because I know I'll get through them. I know I'll get through more than just these two primers, but these are the ones I want to finish. Absolutely. So, I mean, there's, you know, other things that I know I'll finish. I'll probably finish another loose powder. I just, those are the ones that are like are kind of front of mind that I really want to work on and, and like focus on using up this coming year. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I actually loved pulling stuff out for this video to like set aside. So let me know what you guys think. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 
We're doing a Ziggy session. Hi. Hello. What you doing, buddy? <laughs> he had that wild look in his eyes like, don't touch me there. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I have seen this video float around uh, quite in a lot of... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome. No, no. And I've seen this video float around in my feed, in my Facebook feed. No, not my Facebook feed. Okay, bye.